Okay, so let's say um, the question is, I made a mistake and it keeps coming back in my head over and over again and I can't let it go. I'm cancelling it, but it's keeping coming back. So what other methods can I use to get rid of this repeating thought? Like I made a mistake and it's not going. Well, apart from cancelling, I cancel my belief I made a mistake, I'm an infinite being, is you can use A Course in Miracles. Instead of the mistake, I could see peace. Uh, God is a love in which I forgive my mistake. Um, or um, I'm not a victim of mistakes, uh, you know. Uh, uh, so I'm not a victim of the mistake I see. So you can use various course lessons to disappear it over and over. You know, different lessons will tackle the the magicalness of the mistake and start to make it meaningless so it doesn't have the power to keep coming back over and over again um step tens if you're on a 12 step maybe not in 12 steps uh the other thing is just um, pr um sharing the other individuals going to groups sharing about it will take the power out of it um if there's a feeling attached to it or a lot of feelings or you're going through a lot of feelings um, then you can uh, practice the feel the feelings. Feeling the feelings is just trying to trying to stop label, try to stop thinking about the mistake, and just allow any energies or feelings or vibrations just to be there, and just be allow those vibrations and don't try and go into the head to make a story about it or images about it, and then you'll be releasing all the pent up energy that's behind um, the uh, the mistake. The mistake is probably a stack every time you've you've made a mistake, you're probably beating yourself up and going into emotions. So there might be a wadge of emotions behind that. So if you just allow them, stop making a story and just let them evaporate off for half an hour a day. Uh, as the as the energy under, underneath, it starts to evaporate away because you're allowing the energies to come up without going into your head. Uh, your level of consciousness will go up and then you'll eventually see it differently from a higher vibration. So from a higher vibration, there'll be much more compassion, much more, it won't be able to come back so easily because it's now seen differently and it's more, it can be rendered much more meaningless. Uh, so what other ways can you can you release release that? You can also read stuff like uh, The Course in Miracles, uh, Ramana Maharishi, um, or any, any high vibration text uh, will, will help to release it. So those are the other things I would do uh, to just hammer it from all angles. Once the thing is, you see, the other thing to, to remember is the only thing that can keep coming back in your head is something that your ego projects as special. Uh, so if your ego didn't have any special projection on mistakes or, or the thoughts around it, then it, could not, it can never come back in your head. Like if you see... Um, a, if you see a blade of grass and you look at it, you'll find it very hard to really remember that and, and remember that in a day or two because it's so meaningless. Um, now, if someone you know, make, makes um, a remark that you're stupid, you might remember that because only because you've made it meaningful. Okay, so that's one of the early lessons of Course in Miracles. You see, anything that's rendered meaningless will not block presence. It's only the the things that your ego projects as having meaning. Okay, I'll stop there.